well students uh, today we are going to start the chapter that is democracy okay so you all know about democracy a little bit but in this class we will try to understand the meaning of democracy that what democracy is from where the democracy comes our well, students democracy is a greek word which comes from democratic demo and kratic it means it is formed from two word demo and kratic demo means people okay and kratic means rule although you know <clears throat> that in a simple term if we talk then we can say democracy is what a, a rule by the people as for example india so i think you got the concept that what democracy is i repeat again democracy means a rule by people or if you segregate the meaning of the democracy then it is formed from the word democratic which means it is segregated in two part that is demo and kratic demo means people and kratic means rule now we will talk about the features of democratic government okay we will take the features one by one first feature of democracy is formed by people's representative means what you can get from formed by people's representative It means that a elected government or person who want to be elected should be from the from among the people so as you know that we also called it as representative democracy now the second feature is free and fair elections to be called a democracy we call, we, we should have free and fair elections well students what we get from this that free and fair elections not it down two terms we are using free and fair okay free and fair means free means it is available to everybody it i mean to say that if anybody wants to get elected then he must attend that age that universal adult franchise means he should be above 18 years and fair means that while conducting elections we should follow the we should follow the <clears throat> fair practices in the elections got it now the third feature is citizens have right to criticize or we can say people have a right to oppose and criticize the government i repeat people have a right to oppose and criticize the government means here what we are providing we are providing with the people should have a right so they have a right to freedom means if any rule if there is any ruling party then they can oppose the government if their policies are not in favor of the uh, welfare of the people or they can criticize the government at any step whether regarding policy policies or whatever else it is okay now people have a right to protest means previously we studied that we can oppose and criticize the government means we can call, we can we can call we can uh, make their attention towards our ourselves and in fourth point we are talking about protest so if we are opposing government then we can do any protesting activities like uh, some kind of movement non violent non violent movement and strike may also so we are also having right to protest we can protest against the government as uh, we caught an example from that 
recent uh, thing happened this anna hazare go went on uh, hunger strike for the lokpal bill as what stands lokpal for as it was for the against the corruption to remove the corruption from our democracy okay so what what he was doing he was just protesting the government against the corruption bill now this is the feature of a democratic government now we'll talk the feature of non democratic non democratic government the first feature of non democratic government is ruled by a force by a person or by a group yes the first feature of non democratic government means what it says ruled by a force by a person by a group or by a group means where we can where we can see that there is a no elected government no representative government the rule is like rule is forcefully by uh, uh, one uh, by one individual we can say, uh, we can put an example of hitler the dictator government or by a group of people okay then second feature is no opposition is permitted no opposition is permitted as we had, we had talked this uh, this vice versa feature in uh, our uh, democratic government that we can protest government we can protest government but in a non democratic government we can't oppose government in any way third point is no criticism of government is tolerated means if you want to criticize the government criticize the government's policy then it will be not tolerated tolerated in a non democratic government or point citizens have no right as in a democratic government that we know citizens are provided with few uh, basic fundamental fundamental rights but in a non democratic government you can't find these fundamental rights like for example right to freedom right to speech whatever it is okay 